Okay, so I just I just took out this fuel sending unit pump and everything, and uh, I got the new one. The new one's here. Now the new one has a different plug that comes with it, um, which I was a little thrown off by what to do with it. And then there's not a whole lot online what to do, but I did figure out that you got to take this part from this sending unit because. The, the new one I got didn't have anything there, and so I was a little confused about the wiring. But the simple thing is, is you just, it's a little rubber thing. If you get something under it, you can pop it up, try not to ruin it. Um, what you want to do is take it off, pop it on here. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is how to wire the new plug. Um, here's the new plug. Pretty simple. They had a issues with the old plug I guess and that's why they decided to get it away with it this one you're not going to touch but if you notice this one's pretty much color coded to the same as this one so what we're going to do is we're just going to separate these we're just going to separate these and attach them to this so what I'm going to do first apologize my cameras going in and out so what I'm going to do first set that aside and do don't do any of this near your gas tank that's that's pretty dangerous I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my wires all right now I'm gonna strip off the ends like that okay what I suggest is simple uh, is to get some of these solder shrink connectors it, it'll save you a, a headache and a half I mean you could solder and put the shrink wrap on it but if you have these they turn out to be pretty handy so I'm gonna just slip those on there What they're designed to do, um, the blue lines as you see, they, they help seal out the water so you don't get any water in there. And the center is actually a piece of solder, which saves you a great deal of time because you don't have to solder them and then put heat shrink on them. So I'm just going to take them, twist them together like that. And I suggest probably doing one at a time. I like to pinch it just so that it stays put. Then you're just going to need any blowtorch that you have. Now, you don't want to overheat it. You just want to shrink your, your tubing. Once it's shrunk, you want to heat up the thing without overdoing it. And if you look at it, you can see a nice solder connection. It's not going to come apart. I'm good to go. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones. All right, here they are. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape them up and install it. Thanks for watching. Here's the sending unit fully installed.